Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ukir tribe and we are here with our beautiful armored babies carrying those hammer tails and those recessive mammoth foot jeans within their bellies and we are making our way across the stepping stones to explore new lands including this beautiful jungle and this is quite an awesome jungle very very interesting we've got a lot of the um the plants that eat your creatures we've got a lot of these fruit pieces we've got a whole bunch of the cool grasses i even spy some of the mud you can roll in in a permanent nest it's really gorgeous isn't it oh my gosh there's so many trees i love how huge the trees are but you know what guys don't get attached <laughs> don't get attached because we are actually running immediately from this island which is way too hot and we're out of here we're not sticking around like at all i'm not joking about not sticking around we're gone we're moving to a new island immediately that's what we're we're off to we're not going to be sticking around we are going to be making our way to a new land looking for the snow island i don't want to waste a second where we shouldn't be so we're going to get every single one of our creatures moving across the way and they're going to be scooching. Will you drown if you go down there? Probably. That looks like a really steep cliff, Taduk. I'm not going to do that to you. All right, come on, little Z then. And we're just going to scooch on the food that we brought with us and not even worry about like gathering food at the moment. And we're getting on to this, this next portal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank goodness there's enough to transport everybody onto the next island. Like I said, not wasting any time. And we're going to be island hopping today until we are able to get every single one of our creatures to a snowy island. And some of our creatures like Dazila are starting to get a little bit older. So we might have to make some really strict decisions about what the heck we're going to do soon. All right, everybody keep moving. It seems like it's a lot faster to go this direction. Everybody keep moving. That's right, that's right. And over here. And don't go down that cliff. I think that you'll drown. Almost there. Oh, look at this predator. He thinks he can just step on in and start harassing our group. Yeah, that's not how it's gonna work, buddy. Not how it's gonna work at all. We can get my pregnant female over here. And we're gonna move on, move out of here. Let's get Zavai over here. Nobody misclick onto the wrong spot. Everybody end up where they belong. Good job. All right, everybody hold on to your moves too. We might need them for something. And we are now going to be leaving this jungle island and traveling to the next land looking for a snowy portal. That definitely was too hot for our armored bodied creatures. I think it's funny that Predator showed up because he actually targeted the only one of our creatures who does not have armored body. And that is actually our hammer tail creature. We have one creature with full hammer tail. And I thought with everybody else having recessive hammer tail, that would probably be a pretty good mix. All right, where are we now? A whole new island, tiny little portal, snow. Ah, we didn't end up with snow again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, everybody over to this flower portal. <laughs> That's going to be our next goal. Everybody to the flower portal. But if we don't manage to find the land we're looking for soon, I am truly worried that we're... Oh no, and there's a leech. All right, got to get that leech off. I'm worried we're going to have to stop and let some of our females give birth. But I don't think we're going to like stop for long if the females had to give birth and end up being left behind <gasps> help kimi help this is a little bit intense already there's a lot of adventure going down uh kimi kimi somebody rescue kimi kimi oh my gosh kimi no we haven't even reached the snow island oh my gosh maybe there is something to be said for playing permanently with moves this may be a challenge in the future island hopping permanently in the future kimi kimi no kimi oh my gosh i think she's paralyzed does this mean we're gonna have to stop and we're gonna have to let some of our our females give birth now release kimi you terrible plant oh my gosh kimi Kimi, help somebody who's super strong. Kimi, come on, open that up. Open it up. Kimi, everybody rescue Kimi. Kimi, Kimi, oh my gosh, Kimi. Help, help, and there's like a whole, oh my gosh. Kimi, what are we gonna do? Ah, oh my goodness. How do we help? How 
do we get everybody in there? We have to keep running and Lucila is like heavily pregnant. If she jumps in that nest, she's gonna end up having her baby. Is that, uh, Dezila is going to have her baby in a minute now and she's old. Taduk, Taduk, you have a little bit more strength. What are we gonna do? This is not, this is so cool. Okay, it's not how things are supposed to go, but holy moly, this is so cool because they're a traveling family. And instead of just landing on an island like they always do, we've ended up with this tragedy. What if we lose creatures while we are running to the new land? I actually love the challenge of that. Kimi, Kimi, no, oh my gosh, Kimi's gonna die. Oh my gosh, somebody find Kimi some medicine. Oh my gosh, and there's a rogue male. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, and there's a new creature named Izzy, and uh, she's just running around here. What have we brought upon ourselves? Get away, rogue male. <laughs> Lazila's already pregnant. No, no, get away, get away. Comey, Comey, no, Comey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kimi, no, Brianna. Oh my gosh, Comey. Oh my gosh, Kimi. Oh. Oh gracious, oh gracious me, Kimi is about to die. Kimi, do you have any genetics that we need to keep? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Kimi, we may have to, we may have to alter our plans for just a moment. Holy hard island. I don't, I don't even, I don't even have words. Poor Kimi, unexpected, unexpected like side trip. She's about to pass away. We need to have her baby. Who would be the best one for her to have a baby with so she can leave behind a child to go to the next island? Okay, um, okay, she has cracker jaw, hammer tail, armored body, and she has H and A immunity. So I need a male. K and E would be good. I think K and E would be good, and she might leave behind a child who ends up having hammer tail that way. So Taduk and Kimi. Let's get Kimi over into this nest. Oh my gosh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do not. Kimi only has a couple days left. I cannot afford to have her have your child, you terrible, terrible rogue. Oh my gosh, she's gonna have the rogue's child. Kill him! <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I have to have rogue babies! Rogue babies everywhere! Oh my gosh, Kimi! What am I gonna do? This is amazing! And Dazila is like gonna go into labor with all of this hubba baloo. We're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to have a, a moment to just sit and everyone catches their breath for a minute. Zavai, what do we do? I guess, I guess everybody's like, quick, we need nest materials, holy moly, and then here's this new creature, all right, is he, and just a little young thing that, like, greets and meets with uh, Pippa here, and now Pippa's gonna, we're gonna have to think about having babies, and little Izzy is probably so excited, because she's like, who are you? And she's this little albino creature, and we've just adopted somebody, Pippa, you really need to think these things through a little more carefully, and there's leeches everywhere. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I don't know if we want to have the babies though. We're so close to that portal, but then, ah, ah, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a little interesting. All right. We've got, we've got, we've got a lot happening. All right. Three babies about to be born. Let's make sure we have some good things. Hind legs, cracker jaw in the mutation menu. Maybe claw. Maybe claw would be a good thing to mutate in, actually, but I don't want to put that in just in case we lose any mammut foot that we would have had. And there's a little flurry of babies. Oh my gosh. And we killed that plant. Huh. Well, we have little Vanu, who has got water body of all things, and Ramira, who has water body. And they're here now. And we also have little Isana, who unfortunately wasn't born with mammoth foot. Oh, that's so sad. But she can replace Kimi with some of the genes. So we're starting to risk losing that hammer tail. And now Priyana has to have a baby. And, and who knows what's going to happen. And I think little Issy is going to be taken with the new rogue babies. And she is going to stay. This is her land. She will be happy to kind of take over and take care of these rogue babies for everyone. We'll have to gather up some of these pieces. All right. And Kimi, I'm going to let Kimi step over here. And surrounded by the love and warmth of her family, she's going to leave behind one child of her own. <sighs> 
to hopefully be able to contribute to the the family genetics and and will carry her child on into the next land but holy days Pippa, let's go ahead and have you become pregnant, like, emergency style, please, with somebody. All right, there's K and E immunity. So let's get, let's go ahead and get Taduke down here. He and Pippa can go ahead. Now Pippa is defended from any rogue males who might come our way. Holy days, and we'll have Roro step over and start clearing things away. And Ianthi, can you smell any roots to dig up? Unfortunately, not. That's fine. And he can just start working his way over towards this portal and we'll be ready there. All right, Komi has had her child, her rogue child, and she can become pregnant again. Uh, maybe with Zavai, D and E immunity. K and D, no. Uh, let's see. Maybe with Taduk. Uh, let's try one of the other males. Let's see. E and A. All right, Priyana would be good for that. K and D. Yeah, Komi could get pregnant with Yanthi, who's starting to get kind of old. So we're going to move her over here. Dang it, she picked up a leech. Really? That's how we're going to be doing this? Dazila, can you at least get the leech? And no, Dazila can't even get the leech. But I think... Uh, no, why can I not get the leech? <laughs> I can't even remove the leech from my creatures. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. All right. Dazila, should I let her go ahead and have her child too? I mean, she's getting super old, but let's try to hold out for one more, one more go. Kimi, little Kimi's lost to us and her child ended up with a medium body and this thing regrew. No, no, not good. Oh my gosh, not good. Oh my gosh, we built our nest next to it. Not good. Brianna, get out of the way. Dazila, oh my gosh, Dazila, get out of the way. Can I move the babies? Oh my goodness, Zazila, get out of here. Okay, this is awesome. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. They they were looking for adventure, but little did they know what they would find. Izana, how am I going to get you safely over there? And Dukro, should I bring you, my little one? He has hammer tail and he has armored body, but I just, I don't know. And Zavai is trying to protect everyone. I'll move Izzy over here. She's just like already adopted these little ones under her paw. Let's see, Zavai, move this way, please. No, Zavai, guard the baby. What was I thinking? Izana, should I bring little Izana? She has webbed hind legs, but she does have armored body. She does not have the hammer tail recessive. I wasn't able to think through the genetics as much as we carefully normally do because we're kind of in a rush trying to get to this portal and there's just leeches everywhere and my poor, poor family is just doing the best they can with what they've got. Comey is going to scooch this way. All right, everybody come over here. We're running for it. Uh, Lucila needs to become pregnant to protect herself actually. So Lucila and Ianthi should hopefully be able to have a good child. No, they weren't able to become pregnant with each other. <gasps> Twist, not good. All right, there we go. We'll get you over there. Priyana. Let's see, you and Ianthi should be able to have a child, but Priyana won't have any children with hammer tail, most likely. All right, and this little one will move over here. So we'll try to grab little Ducro, who I will now rename, and we'll try to bring him with us to, uh, let's see. Uh, wow, these are some names. I've actually used several of these names before, I just realized, so I'm going to clear a few of them away. Uh, we'll name him little Lux. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. So I, we may have had a Lux before, but I think I forgot to remove some of the names. And we'll just continue to try to wiggle to the next area, but we're getting old, guys, on these creatures. So I'm gonna have to be super careful. All right, come on, everybody. You gotta get away from that nasty plant. Everybody scooch away from that plant. Okay, there's that. And then Izana, I guess I should bring you with me because you have armored body. And Kimi's child, Lux. I don't know if we'll bring him because he has medium body, but he does have hammer tail and he does have immunity K and he does have good fertility. Mm -hmm. oh, keeping these genetics is going to be so much harder than I thought it would be. And we can at least destroy all of these nests we had to emergency build and get back a ton of resources. Oh my gosh, what a side twist. All right, Azana, come with us. And then Zivai, we'll have you come with us. All right, there we go. All right, and Priyana, 
All right, thank goodness she's now safely pregnant. <laughs> Never thought I would really be like, yes, they're safely pregnant, but sure enough. All right, everybody else needs to scooch over. Make room, make room. Make sure that everyone can get in here. Taduk, you might have to take the lead. All right, Lucila can get in. There we go, safely tucked in. So we only have enough room for two more creatures this turn. So I think we're gonna have to leave behind little Lukes. Lux? We might have to leave behind little Lux. Dang it. All right, so he's gonna stay behind as, as Kimi's memory here with Issy. And that's just gonna have to be how it is here. Fui, I was really hoping for a little bit more, but man, what a dangerous place to be. And what are these tiny floaty things? I thought I noticed those before, but what are they? These tiny itty bitty little dots? Are those the leeches? Are those like the new leeches? This land is so full of mysteries. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, everybody's still good? All right, nothing happened over the night. We've got to get Izani with us. She really needs to pick up the pace. We've got to get out of here. I'm really worried we won't be able to like gather enough resources. Our creatures are getting too old for this kind of nonsense. All right, there we go. No, you were supposed to destroy that nest. There we go. We'll destroy those nests. And little Lux, he will stay here with us because it would take too long to get him there and we're out of spots to take him. But that's okay. I think he's very happy with his adoptive mother. Uh, Izzy has taken over and she's very happy because she was living a lonely life and now she has an entire family to raise. So that works out well for her. All right, let's try not to die of old age, everyone. If you could all manage that, I would be uh, pleased as absolute punch. That would make me very happy. And we'll leave off with Izzy being able to show off her, her little family some of the amazing island that they have inherited. And it looks like this little group, for their own sake, is going to be just fine. All right, good. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Have a good life, everyone. We're running away now. We're already running low on food now. We might have to put down our feet and permanently stay in one spot soon. All right, running again. Searching, searching, searching desperately for those snowy lands. Losing our so carefully crafted genetics along the way as one creature after another falls. Rogue males make trouble. Desperate, desperate, desperate. Please, snow, please. Please, somebody have snow. Why? <laughs> And we still don't have any snow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We could try running over here, but I think we're running out of time. Oh my goodness. I think we really are going to, as long as we have enough food, just stay long enough for the eldest ones to have some babies and then leave again. And I think we'll head. We've gone to jungle that has taken us to other areas before. I think we'll head for the jungle port again. All right, but it looks like we've arrived at a peaceful land. Now I need to make some decisions about what to do. I think that the the pregnant females like Comey, she's got to have her baby. Things are happening. Lazila is getting super old. She only has seven days left. I think we need to make a new generation, guys. Even Zavai, who is the youngest among us when we begun this, is getting super old too. I, I think it's time to start seeing, especially Dazila, Go ahead. No, Dazila! <laughs> she had her nest and then she ended up just drying it because I misclicked. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's time. It's time to start having some of the, the young ones have children of their own. So let's go ahead and get comfortable under the uh, under this tree. We'll go ahead and give it a good kick to get some food from it. Ianthi is about to pass away? Excuse you? Ianthi, I needed those genetics! Komi needs to have a little nest too. She's so desperate. All right, we'll come over here and she's gonna make a little nest under the tree. Oh my goodness. And Pipa, oh my gosh. And we're just, I, the genetics, my genetics. We have to stop. We can't run anymore. Like we literally can't run anymore because we're, we're losing our genes. I'm so glad we brought a female. Okay, all right, it's time. We're gonna have a bit of a baby boom right over here next to this beautiful flowery land because it's the only option we really have available to us anymore. And Yanthi needs to keep himself very close at hand because I think we need his genes. And this is gonna be very interesting, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and have our very first baby boom here on this island. We have probably lost Mamutfoot. 
Oh my gosh, and I just lost Yanti. And and who's this little one? Oh my goodness. <gasps> We've done it! We've done it! Born today on this wonderful island is our wonderful little... Let me find a good name for him. We're going to give him the name of... Oh dear, some of these names are quite interesting that you guys have suggested. All right, this little one is going to be named Kudos. So Kudos has finally done it, you guys. He has been born and he has the full hammer tail. He's got normal hind legs, armored body, and cracker jaw. Oh my gosh. And then back here, we have got Taro. And Taro has managed to be born with recessive or inactive hammer tail and armored body at the very least. And then down here we have another little male. Wait, all right, is your name Taro? I literally, are you kidding me? He was born with the name Taro and I literally named this guy Taro. Okay, we're gonna change his name to Obi, which is another name from the same list. All right, so Obi is over here, Taro's over here, armored body, armored body, hammer tail, full hammer tail and kudos. And guess who his dad probably was? Kudos. Did your dad just pass away? Please tell me your dad did not just pass away. All right, where are you, Kudos? Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's named A? Who did I misname as A? Somebody, oh, really? Shadow? No, that was Taduk. Uh, or, ah, Kuk here. All right, Kudos, where did you go? Oh, there he is. Taduk, his dad's still alive. Taduk, get over here. And have another child with uh, Pippa like this second. Okay, we're gonna sort this out. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. But we're gonna have lots of lots of nest, and this is just gonna be how it has to be for a little bit, guys. We're gonna have to get another generation, and then they can continue moving on, searching for those snowy lands. But man, on the one hand, we have finally gotten the perfect prehistoric genes. But on the other hand, we will always remember poor Komi and so many of the other tragedies that have already befallen us and the beautiful albino female of the mysterious, cruel jungle island who is raising up a tiny little branch of our family tree forever. Oh, all right, so we're going to work on our genetics. We're going to work on trying to breed up a, a new batch of the family, and we're going to continue to push them along and see what challenges that they can face and how the family tree will adapt and change as we move on to another new land. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.